Hey, my name is Nisha and welcome to my channel, Picks by Nisha. I have some great jewelry that I'm going to show you today. So let's go take a look. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, pretty um, plastic beaded necklace. Definitely vintage. I'll show you the clasp. We have this um, barrel clasp right here. And then you can see the pattern in the plastic beads. I would definitely list this on eBay, maybe Etsy if I could figure out the uh, decade. It's probably 1970s. Okay, so we have a carved pendant. Just going to put it on my skin to see what it's made from. If it's stone, it's usually cold. Glass is cool to the touch. Um, this just feels like wood, and I actually see a wood pattern on the back, so let's take a look at that. See those stripes in there? It's made from wood. Nice carving on the front there. Be a nice piece um, for e eBay. Ah, okay, this is a set. Let's get this all out. Cute set with um, dangle earrings. Uh, this would be a great piece for eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari. It's a um, vintage style choker necklace. And style meaning it's not vintage, but it's made to look vintage. Now, you, you might be wondering how I list on all these different platforms. And I do this with a service called List Perfectly. And they help me cross post quickly to all these different platforms. So if you'd like to try it for yourself, in the description below, there's a link for 30% off your first month. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this. All right, and then we have the uh, lobster clasp with the extension chain. So kind of a giveaway that it's a modern piece from the last 15 years. Okay. Seashell necklace. This is fun with the braiding. Good condition. Perfect for the beach. Choker. It's definitely a choker. So it's like 14 to 16 inches long. All right, great. All right, some dangle earrings. So these are dyed, definitely dyed purple. Not quite sure what they're made from. Let's take a closer look. Hmm, they're very lightweight. It looks like they might be dyed pieces of wood, but it's they're very lightweight for wood. So, hmm. Okay, nice bangle bracelet. I like the pattern on it. Plastic. Okay. I like the musical notes on this. At first I thought they were hand painted, but they look like some type of um, stencil. Nice piece. Here we have, this is definitely a vintage piece. Ooh, it's a little wonky, okay. It's very pretty. I picked it up just because of the pink color. Oh dear. Looks like it has some wearing. I'll show that to you. So it's a classic 1950s, 1960s necklace. It's got the hook right here. It's got the extension chain. This is a choker. Um, so uh, 14 to 16 inches, usually made in Japan. And um, everybody was wearing these. These were actually made to be disposable, some of these. So it's, it's really cool how 
long these pieces have lasted. So um, this is um, plastic, and there's a fair amount of wearing you see on the larger beads, and especially right here, but there's no chipping of the color. So it's not bad. And there's the hook. Sometimes Japan will be written right here, or even West W. Germany. Okay. Okay. Y-shaped necklace. Does have a vintage look to it, but it's definitely modern. Nice choker piece. Like the beads. See how the beads are constructed? That's definitely a vintage style. And then we have the um, rhinestones here on the rest of the necklace, and that's the back. Gunmetal gray, okay. Clue to it's being modern. This is a fun piece. Let's get this out without making a mess. <laughs> okay. All right, so what this is, it's clip-on earrings, and you can change the color of the insert. So let's see. Let's take a look. There's a name in here. I'm going to use my loop. In the description below, I have different jewelry resources, and on the blog, too, there's some information about jewelry. So I can't quite make out the signature here. Let's see. I'll show that to you. It definitely made in China. The signature is right in this section right here. Let me rotate it. It's difficult to read. It's not like a very good stamp. And below that is the China. To me, it looks like something from the 80s. Let's check this other one out. You can see the inserted color on the... And let's just pop that out. Oh, I think it's Bob Miller. I'm not familiar with that brand. But anyway, it's a, it's a fun set. And it looks like most of the colors are here. Somebody will really love this. All right, moving along. So it's like an open mesh bracelet. You see the cutout sections. Has a nice look to it. No manufacturer, but it's a pretty piece. So I got this one. I like the way it was braided. And then it's a magnetic closure. Cute with the rhinestones. Ah, right. So this is a heavy chain necklace and bracelet set. So it's got the hook clasp, and then the, it looks like there's a hang tag on the bracelet. So let's just take a look at both of them together. Very pretty choker. Um, this would look great at a wedding or even to work. And then we have, oh, of, of course, it's Monet. So let, I'll show you the tag. All right, so Monet has modern pieces and then vintage. But isn't that great? It has the safety chain on the bracelet. And then it's a fold-over clasp, which uh, for me that indicates it's vintage. Really nice set. Okay, fun clip-on earrings. I like the swirl in there with the enameling. They are unsigned, but they are not from the 50s or 60s because of the design. They're probably 80s with that design on the back. Okay, just a fun kind of plastic bracelet. I like the swirl pattern on there, iridescent. Ah.
oh dear, we're, we're missing a little bit of the necklace, but that's okay, it still works. Okay, so it's a uh, multi-strand beaded necklace, definitely vintage, probably 1950s, maybe later. Just looking at this um, hook class, see that? But it's missing the weight, the last segment right here on the extension chain. This section right here from here to here is the extension chain. Um, really pretty imitation pearl looking beads. Oh yeah, this was really nice. I like the look of the different uh, color metals. It has a really nice look, bangle. Oh, this is like bracelet, okay. <laughs> All right, very modern look with the laminated wood on each side. And then you can see the construction, you can see the line construction of the bracelet. Okay, so this is a <laughs> Okay, so it's a multi-strand necklace. And this is a charm necklace. So it's like a charm bracelet except, you know, it's a necklace and it has little charms hanging off in different segments. Uh, modern piece, nice and long. I like the combination of the leather and the chain. Take a closer look. Uh, it's definitely uh, modern with that leather cord, and then it does has a, a fish, a lobster class. Not a fi there is a fish class. But I don't think we have one to show you today, but that's a lobster class. Oh, the oh wow. Okay, cool. So. These are just gorgeous enamel earrings. And these actually match a scarf clip that I had in my last haul. Aren't those great? Wow, I just love that design on it. Okay, this clasp has been modified. It's no longer clasp. But it can be worn without a clasp beaded necklace. <laughs> oh. Okay, fun. Nice and long. Look at that. That's like the Lariat, L-A-R-I-A-T. Super long, 48 inches or more. <clears throat> and it's a nice chain. It, doesn't look vintage, but it has a really great look to it. Now, again, I cross post a lot of my listings, mainly to eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. If you want to try my the service I use list perfectly, I do have in the description below a link for 30% off your first month. So if you want to give it a try, and I also have a few uh, tutorials on how to use this perfectly uh, on the YouTube channel. Okay, so let's keep going. All right. A.E. Um, ooh, I should know who that is. C.A.E., okay. Very nice, delicate necklace choker might even be a collar um i wanted to say and climb but <laughs> that's not right uh, okay i'll have to look that one up all right okay so i got this oh okay this is gonna this is not good unless you're kelly want to get in touch with me <laughs> Um, it takes a long time to sell uh, named pieces sometimes. So um, that's why I'm going, ooh. Um, but it's in very good condition. And you see the brand on the back here. Okay. All right. 
So I really love the color combination in here. It's that nice green with the blue. I like the way it's painted. The gold is painted on the, the beads. Let's take a look at that clasp. Hmm. Okay. There, there is no clasp. Okay. Ah, okay. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's look at it in a different way. Okay. I love the change in color from the neckline down the front of the body, and then this is at the end, right? And then you have a graduating, so it means it goes um, smaller to larger. And then the clasp is right here. So let's take a closer look at that. So this little section here, you just press down on it. I'll make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you press down on it and pull it open. And it pops out. Okay, definitely vintage. I just love it. It has wonderful design. And I would say that it's probably 1960s. Let's get that back in there. And even hand knotted in between. Let's look at some of those green beads. Definitely plastic beads, but it still has that wonderful look to it. Okay, so chain necklace. Okay, yeah, it looks vintage. It has that vintage look to it. There isn't a lot of tarnish on the clasp. It has that C clasp, but it's got that braided chain that you would see with a lot of uh, vintage necklaces or bracelets too. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is like a collar necklace, really tight around the neck. Oh, Carol Lee, okay. So Carol Lee has modern and vintage pieces. And this one's really nice design. So what it is, is when you have beads or other items floating in between, like a chain. This is called a floating necklace station. Ooh. Okay, I am not going to detangle this one. Okay. I got it because I really like this pendant. So let's take a closer look. And then it has a little latch over here. Let's open that up. Oh, interesting. There's something else on the inside. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> okay. Um, I think that creates a nice design because light reflects um, off of there, but um, maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> I, don't know. Um, I don't see any name on here. And there's nothing here on the the clasp. Okay. It's a modern piece. Oh yeah, I fell in love with this elephant. I thought it was such a cute pendant. Oops, let me try that again. And it's on this nice chain. Modern piece. Okay, getting down to the end here. Oh, <laughs> just in time for Halloween, but Halloween is not here yet. So, <laughs> uh, but speaking of seasonal uh, products, I do list seasonal products whenever I get them. I don't wait. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> so it looks like a plastic or resin um, brooch. And it looks vintage just because of the design and also of the um, clasp here on the back.
Ah, okay. So I'm going to take this out. So it came in this package. So let's just take it out of the package and take a look. Uh, it says it's Sterling 925. Wow, it's really in that package. Okay. So let's take a closer look. I like the design on there. Nice chain. Uh, it's really nice filigree actually on there if you look at it closer. So let's take our magnet. So what the magnet does is it just tells me if there's any magnetic metals in the necklace. So it's just a kind of a filter. Okay, so it's not magnetic. Okay, so I will definitely double check and make sure this is silver. It does look silver to me, especially if you look right in here. It's kind of got that uh, tarnish on it and it's a bluish color to it. You can actually learn how to identify silver by looking. So it just takes practice, but you can learn it. Ah, yay! We got another bunny rabbit. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so just a piece of paper somebody covered with some resin or la laminated it. Okay, fun. Ah, okay. This is definitely vintage, and I know that because of the construction of the... It's really a collar necklace. It's so small in the sense of the length of the chain, the panel chain. This is a panel chain. So panel meaning there's segments of chain taking up, used to create the necklace. Then it has this bead on here is a little bit of wearing and the metal has been painted or has enameling on it. Okay. Ah, okay, so a, a small brooch, gold tone with some enameling. Okay. Ah, okay, this is pretty, very pretty bracelet. It's, on the small side, and then it has right here next to the um, clasp, it has some markings. Okay, 925, and I'll look at the other information in my loop. Sometimes it will have more information on the back, but here it doesn't. Okay, so, and then there's another information back here, made in Italy. All right, so 925 is means it's made from uh, sterling silver. And then there's also a little mark right here on the clip of the brace, bracelet. So just this little teeny section. Mm. All right, so, and then let's look at the pattern on here. What do we have? Oh, okay, we have little cherub angels. Okay, cute. All right, so let's do a, a magnet test. Okay, so it's not magnetic. I would definitely test this with a silver. Sometimes the clasp is magnetic, which is normal. Pretty heart pendant. Take a closer look. Some rhinestones, cute little hearts on the inside of the heart. Nice design, modern piece. I'm looking at the side of it. I thought it was locket for a sec second, but it's not. Okay, so this is our last piece. We have a pendant necklace made from shell, and these are beads made from shell. And this is a vintage necklace, and I'll show you the clasp. Oh, it's prettier on this side. Okay, okay. this is mother of pearl, and I know this because it has a triangular shape. Usually the, sh the triangle part will come up a little bit more over here. See how it's coming up a little bit? 
and it'll look like this. You'll see it a lot on bracelets and necklaces. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of tarnish on the beads right through here. So that lends me to think that it is a vintage piece and this looks vintage too even though the clasp is not that tarnished hmm maybe it isn't vintage it looks like it may have been restrung with a new clasp that's what i think it is okay so i would not sell this as vintage very pretty though thanks so much for watching if you'd like to try list perfectly for yourself in the description below, I have a link that will give you 30% off your first month. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and then hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.